Hello, Soul Tribe, Spiritual Warriors. We are in Owensboro, Kentucky. We are about to do our transfer. And I'm in my, my little quarters, my little my little room, my little bunk room. And I'm going to do a reading. I'm going to try to at least. I did pray. I asked the Holy Spirit to deliver us a, a message that we, we need to hear. Not what we want to hear. Uh, and I was just shuffling my cards. Um, please read the disclaimer on the in the description. Um, I have some questions. One of the questions is a little concerning. Because, I, I mean, I'm, a, I'm going to give my opinion on the question. Uh, but, you know, sometimes you have to question your qualifications to answer a question. Of, of, and you'll see at the end of the video, I'll answer it. And we'll, or we'll talk about it. I don't know if I'll answer it, but we'll talk about it. And, uh, but uh, other than that, well, as I was shuffling... I had two cards pop out, and uh, they, they uh, I don't think I have anything else. Uh, we leave here, we're going back to Memphis, so and we already have orders to head right back to Cape Girardeau, so they're keeping us really busy. Uh, yes, indeed. I have two cards that popped out, Gossip and Reveal. Um, hmm. They got some talking going on with your whoever's on your mind. Soul tribe, spiritual warriors, whoever, whoever is on your mind, your person, there's some talking. And people do talk. I, I can tell you right now, people talk. Lord have mercy. You just got to give them time. And you can find out pretty much all you need to know. And it, there's something that is going to be revealed. This, this card is revealed. I don't, and it's something that they don't want to be revealed. They don't want nobody to know. Or they don't want you to know. That's for sure. You possibly may already know. You possibly may already know. They just don't know you know. Because you don't say. You know, you don't talk about it. You're not, you're not the type to... To say um, everything that you know, and not only that, but you're not the type to. I know I'm not. Um, you're not the type to to hurt somebody, even if they hurt you. You're not the type to hurt them. You you, you restrain yourself. It's called control. You control yourself. Um, anyway. We'll go ahead and I, I had I just just saw me shuffle twice, so we'll go ahead and we'll escape somebody yes escape It says I left when things got hard. This follows the review card. Reminiscing and habits. Yes. Mm, I knew that was coming. Whew, every time. Hmm. God. Man. Unbelievable. Third party. I hate them. I can't stand them. Assholes. Anyway. 
And let's get back to the reading. It, you know. And you know what? The worst part of this is the part that they think that you don't know about this. They think you like you're oblivious to this shit, and it's just, I hate even starting off the reading with the, you know, the first six cards that come out, oops, I mean, come on, man, but anyway, Holy Spirit thinks that you need to know this, obviously, so, we're going, we're talking about your third, that this is the energy that's delivered to, to me for us to read, it doesn't matter what I like, <laughs> And it doesn't matter what I want. And I tell y'all all the time, I you, you I, I don't know how you can manipulate the cards because I, I shuffle. Sometimes I prepare my cards beforehand and I just, I do the reading. This time I am doing, because I just decided to read the cards, to do a reading, because I don't think I'm going to have time tonight. Anyway, that being said, This energy is similar to other energies that we've had. I want to get one more card. Mm. I got one that came out right here, but we'll take it. I'm going to put this and I'm going to start another room. Reciprocity. Understanding. Understanding, well, I'm sorry, let me show you. Understanding, like, uh, and it lands next to the third party. Understand, no, I, understanding what, a third party? No, no, boo, no, 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 don't understand that. Hell no. No, I almost, oh, I need to control myself. I almost said they off bomb. No. That's a hard no. No. Mm, anyway. Let's let's do a little recap here. They have they got some gossiping going on. Whoever your person, they afraid that there's something that's gonna be re revealed. I think it's a whole lot worse than the third party. You know, and they want to escape. They want to get away from it. They don't want to hear about it. In fact, they reminisce about you and them. They reminisce about times that y'all had. That they, they think about it and. Habits came up, and habits is, they ain't going to never change. They will never change. This is a cyclic person. They, they cycle. They may get out of this cycle for a brief moment in time, and they're going to go right back into that cycle again. That's what they do, unfortunately. And, you know, they... they collector of hearts they have a jar of hearts <laughs> it is what it is you know and if if you allow it it will eat at you like cancer what you have to do is take Captain Reed's opinions and apply them to you and you have to detach and when I say detach I mean detach I don't mean like you know you check them out on Facebook you do you know this or that don't do none of that None of it. Do not share your energy with that. With whoever this is. Whoever it is. Do not share your energy. Because every time you do that. You're giving energy to this person. If it has gotten to the point that they with. Is that what you want? No. No. You were loyal to this person. You did for this person. You helped this person. You worried about this person. And they gave their loyalty to a third party. Whatever it is. Person, place, thing. I don't give two shits, one, three shits about it. Person, place, thing. They should have made you the priority because you made them the priority. But instead, you gave to them. They gave to the third party. You made them a priority. They made the third party a priority. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You feel where I'm going here? And... They want you to understand. But you just don't understand. No, you damn skip it. We don't understand. Keep your ass over there with old turd. Turd. If, I think you, you, you'll adjust. Give it time. 
it'll grow on you, boo. Some abusive asshole, yeah, they gonna grow. Or some like witch bitch <laughs> over there burning candles and shit. Be like, oh, mm hmm. Well, no. Anyway, we're gonna start another road we have already. Hope. I'm not sure if this is going to be for you or for them. We'll figure this shit out. But hope, oh, reciprocity. You wanted reciprocity. You wanted to get what you were giving. At least. The minimum. The minimum. In a relationship, people think, oh, 50 50. No, boo, there ain't no 50 50 in a relationship. 100 100. 100 percent and 100 percent. That's what you give. You sacrifice your ass off. You commit to that person. Yeah, you sacrifice. That's what you do. And they do the same for you. They do the same for you. But in this case, that's not what was happening. You would have given her, they would have taken her, and they took this entire relationship. They took. And you can have a conversation with them, and you can put it on paper, and you can say, write down something that you did. <laughs> write down a promise that you kept. Period. They can't. Because there was none. I had a question. Uh, I, mean, I don't know. It's not on. The, I don't. I'm, I, I, I may have had it already. But anyway, it was a question about impasse. And and uh, what's a word I don't really care for? But narcissist. You know, like my brother-in-law says, narcissist. <laughs> Some narcissist, <laughs> but narcissist. And narcissism. It's it's a, it's a it's a freaking mental disorder. And, and you are an empath, spiritual warrior. You are, soul tribe is all empaths. You are giving, you are caring, you're nurturing. You, you are all of the characteristics that encompass an empath. These some bitches, whoever this is, they don't know what an empath is. They, they wouldn't know the definite, they, they may say they are. But narcissists do that. They nar a narcissist, they the ones that, that say mean things, lie on you, try to destroy your character, do all of the things behind your back, which you do not do. Empaths don't do that. We don't need to do that. No. People going to judge me by Captain Reed. People going to judge me by what I do. They can try to destroy me all they want. I could care less. Nothing. N nada. Nothing they will do, can do, try to do, can destroy me. It's just the way it is. Empaths don't want to control you. We have zero. Soul tribe don't want to control you. Mm -mm. But we control us. Mm -hmm. I've said that before. Ooh, I got two uh, unappreciated. I said that before. Detachment. I like detachment. When you don't feel appreciated, you detach from that ass. Yeah, be like, whoop, cut the card. I've said that before. I had a friend that straight up told me, vulgar too, F you, ain't nobody gonna pick my friends. I never wanted to. I wanted her, I wanted her to pick her friends. I didn't want her to pick her friends, but I picked mine. And if you have friends that your person, if if Soul Tribe, if somebody has friends that they do not care for you, they do not like you. In fact, in some cases, they enemies. They have did nothing but hurt you. Why would you, this person, want to be friends with them if they really love and care for you? That's my question. My question to them: Why would you want to do that? Never answered. And they still got the same friends. They still got the same. They still got the same friends. So, and we're not friends. So okay. So I pick my friends. They pick theirs. I pick mine. Okay, that's an easy one. That anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We have hope, reciprocity, unappreciated, and detached. This is you, Soul Drive. You did have a lot of hope in this person. In this relationship, in whatever this was, in this connection, we'll just call it a connection. Because some people don't want to call it a relationship. They don't. No, you're not. We we never were in a relationship. <laughs> okay? Let's call it a connection. We'll make it easy. Connected. 
you had a lot of hope and it didn't work out you wanted some reciprocity or whatever you just wanted like meet me in the middle just just try you, they don't they didn't even try and you, you you never could figure it out you know if they claim to be your BFF, well, damn, act like a BFF because you were. You did everything. You tried. You would, it, whatever the case was, whatever the case was. Anyway, it got to the point you felt unappreciated. You did. You just was not appreciated, and you weren't. I'm gonna tell you that you weren't. They may say that they did, but. You know the way people act says more than what they say. They, you know, they can say I love you, but if they do things to hurt you, they don't love you. As simple as that. I mean, if if you do something to hurt someone, then and you say you love them, you gonna be like, well, don't love me no more, booze. Please stop. <laughs> and, oh. They uh, let me take that because it was, it was almost a, yes, missed opportunity. Uh, and they have detachment. This is the next one. And on this card, it says I had, I had to let this go. So I could clear my mind. Mm -hmm. Bullshit. That's what I say. Bullshit. You know, in a long term commitment, in a long term connection, you got to clear your mind. Okay. Okay. You go by yourself under a tree and you sit down and you clear your freaking mind and then you go back to whoever your, your, your person is. Are you? Communicate with your person. You don't detach. You don't say I'm walking away from me and then go off with a third party. You don't do that. Not after what what Soul Tribe has done. Soul Tribe has has sacrificed. And, I mean and and what is what is the validity? I mean, think about it. Where is the it's like mind boggling. And, and, and it happens. It happened here. It happened here. This this will resonate with somebody. I can promise you. Missed opportunity. Yep. Missed opportunity. I'm going to tell you this. You gave this person numerous opportunities. I'm talking about numerous opportunities. You practically begged them, please stop. Please don't do this. Please don't go this direction. Please don't go down this path. Please don't start partying. You can't deal with the temptations involved with that. If you're a twin, you like, you're my twin. You, I mean, really, come on, you know. You can't do this. You can't, I, I, you know. But some people get so self-absorbed that that's what they want. That's all they care about. And they call it self-love. Self, yeah. I love myself, and I'm going to do what I want to do, and that's all bullshit. That's what it is. It's all bullshit. You, you, self care is fine. Self love. When you're gonna get to the point that you're so self absorbed and arrogant that you you forget about everyone else but yourself, you're pretty effed up, boo. You need some help. Bad. You feel like they say they sabotage the connection. That's another one that I think is just a a bunch of. This is just another key word that therapists use to justify what they did or give them an excuse. You know, well, I self-sabotage the connection or I'm in self-destruction mode. You know, all of those key words is just irritating. No, you knew what you was doing. You knew what you was doing. You could have stopped. That's what this is. You could have stopped. And you didn't because you didn't want to. Yeah. It wasn't self-love, it was selfish. 
<laughs> that's what it was. Oh, and they overwhelmed. I think that's what this one is. This is for them because it followed sabotage. They overwhelmed. You possibly were overwhelmed when all of this was going on. I think you could have out of it, probably passed it. Like, you like over it. You like, dude, I'm, I'm good. I'm done. I'm like way past this now. But when it starts to come back up again, it, you do think about it. And I'm sure that there's some times that you do think about it. Undoubtedly, this was a very, very traumatic. It was, this was trauma for you. Uh, very traumatic. A lot of hurt involved right here. Mm -hmm. And you did nothing to hurt this person. <laughs> to still, after they hurt you, you still help them. That's the whole, that's like, wow. That's one of them wow moments. <laughs> uh oh, I got one of them. I'm, I'm not going to take these two. These two are right. But this one is on the table. And this one's on the floor. Oh, they felt unworthy. Or you felt unworthy. You may have felt unworthy. They made you feel that way, possibly. I bet you that's what it is. They made you feel that way. Yeah. Huh. What you got to do is just get out of that pretty quick. Be like, no, boo. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'd have quit in all aspects. So, you know, unworthy shit. <laughs> Broken. I think that's them. They, this, this going back to them. These five cards right here is you. Hope, reciprocity, unappreciated, detached, missed opportunity. Everything else is then I think miss opportunity is then because they missed the opportunity of a lifetime because you wanted to give up you gave it to them over and over and they they broken they are broken I think they know what they lost no I think so they know and they know they never get it back again they know they done destroyed that any possibility they destroyed it yeah that we can go back to the impact They dream. They dreaming. They dreaming. Yeah, we can go. They they do. They think about you all the time, all the time. If you're a twin, if they are twins, you are their twin. I can tell you this. The thought of they they can even distract themselves from you, from the thought of you. They can distract themselves, and they still that thought. You are going to creep into that thought. That's a fact. They will never, ever get rid of that thought. Yeah. You ask me how I know. Well, how you know, Kevin? Because you do the same thing. You marry each other. Yeah, because you think of them. You, If you're a twin, you think of them. And you can say all day long, please spare me. You can say, oh, no, I don't think of them. You do. You do. Because you, this this person has your soul. You have their soul. Y'all share a soul together. You can feel them. That for throughout this lifetime, from the day you was born until if you met your twin, there was always a calling. There was always a draw, a magnetism that, that, was pulling you towards that twin. You don't have to be attached in a marriage or something like that, but there was always that. And when you met that twin, you knew who they were. Because if you were awakened, of course, if you were awakened, you knew them. They didn't have to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Destined. They are struggling. They believe. Destiny. This is kind of going back to the twin flame thing. Going right back to it again. And these are some different glasses I have. These are glasses I leave in my room. So forgive me if I got to keep adjusting them. Uh, And they believe that there's unfinished business. Maybe not so you. Maybe you don't be believe that there's unfinished business. 
but they do. They believe that they're because they're broken. They 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 dream and they believe that that there's a destiny right there. Why? You see, maybe possibly after you left, after you detached, after you walked away, whatever the case is, because they did it first and then enough is enough. You said I'm good, get my ass out of here, taking my toothbrush with me and I'm gone. Hmm. After the fact they became awakened. Mm -hmm. And at first, Chase, that's what's telling me about the twin flame. I, I don't want to chase anymore. You know what that's telling you is they want to get caught. If you're not contacting them, they want you to contact them. They don't want to contact you first because in, in the sum of the game, it's a win or a loss. And if they contact you, they lose. That's how they look at this. I know it's crazy as hell, but that's how that's how they look at it. Soul tribe, soul uh, spiritual warriors, we don't look at it that way. <laughs> like it's a lose lose situation, hoss. <laughs> you, everybody's losing. But you see, with this, if you contact them first, it's a win. Mm -hmm. Crazy as hell, insane, but that's how it is. And I don't buy into the chase or runner thing too much when it comes to twins. <sighs> a lot of people put too much credence on that, you know. Uh, they, and you know, they, they, I am big on justification. They want to justify everything and make some freaking excuses. I can't stand it. It just drives me nuts. You know, that's like, you know, self-destruction and, you know, sabotage and, you know, run or chase. Or, like, you know, they, they take off running. They do a whole lot of shit wrong. And, and me, I, I'm more into the thing of awaken and, and mistaken. They, they, they want to go on a, a little, like Dora the Explorer, and they want to go run. Make a whole lot of mistakes, mistaken, while you became awakened. And you know, and you made all of the right choices, you tried to do all of the right things. No, boo, mm-mm. Time. Time is a factor. I'm afraid it's too late to take action. Yeah, I think so. Depends on how long it's been. For some of you, it's been years. For some of you, it has been years. Yes. Years. It's really sad, too. It's a really sad situation. Yeah. This is you. You're starting a new chapter in your life. And it ain't it's not with this person. Some of my soul tribe, some of my spiritual warriors, that this will not be you. This will and maybe this will resonate with you, but the part that you want to move on and you want to start a new chapter, possibly with somebody else, get booed up with somebody else, it's not you. You want this person. You want them. That's uh, quite a few that say, I've had enough. I've been hurt enough. I'm good. Got the t-shirt. I'm done. You know, because there's just there's so much that has been done. And, and it's just, it's, it didn't have to be. You know, there, there was no, 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 no sense in it. That's how a lot of them feel. You know, for what? That's what my whole, I don't think I would want to ask Whoever, whoever it is, was it worth it? I mean, really. At the end of the day, was it worth it? To put somebody through the pain that you put them through. The hurt and the betrayal. I mean, it just astounds me that... And people said, people said, that's the whole thing. People told you. That was going to happen. People told you, don't trust them. Don't trust them. That's a snake. But you did. You put all your, your heads to all your bets on them. And come back and... It's one of them things. We're going to do a little tarot cut, a little tarot spread. And we're going to go along with the same thing. 21 card spread. 
I call it a box bread. Um, we may do more than 21 cars. It's, it depends. But we'll see. Mm -hmm. Same energy. I mean, you know, eventually this energy is going to dissipate. And... Um, No, energy just don't go away. It has to go somewhere. So I think eventually this energy it'll change. It, it's going to change. Oh, these cards come out sideways. Let's see what the all three of them did too. Um, Knight of Wands. Hmm. It's, and it's a fire sign. Wands is fire. Hmm. It lands on top. We're going to put this one on top of. Oh, oh, let me look at these other three. I want to look at these also. Ooh, okay. Eight of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Uh, and this don't have to correspond with, with the cause the spread that's below it. Pentacles is Earth, Earth sign. If in, in if you wanted to know, the Knight of Wands. I want to pull some more cards. Ace of Pentacles. Lord, nothing but Pentacles. I'm going to tell you this. Whoever this is, your person, whoever this person is, they are obsessed with material things. They are materialistic and very, very materialistic. Very materialistic. Hmm. Ace of Pentacles follows the King of Pentacles. Ooh, okay. This one flew all the way across the room. Hmm. Two of Cups in reverse. Tower on the fence. Let's see what this one is. Ooh, four of swords. This person don't sleep. They stay awake a lot. They in their head. And they in the head because of the towel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're going through a tough time right now. And that tough time is with Pentacles. Because we have the, the Knight of Wands. Which is a... A... Passionate... A... An action, it's an action card. So wands is action, and they 
they're working hard. The Eight of Pentacles is they working hard, very, very hard. They're diligent. They, they trying to. The candle's been burning at both ends, and they're trying to work to snuff out one end of the candle. The other, the other side gonna still be burning, but they're trying. They're working hard to, to make and whoever this is. The King of Pentacles is you. The King of Pentacles is Soul Tribe or Spiritual Warriors. Okay. And you got the Two of Cups that's in reverse. Self love. That's what that is. Self love, distrust, imbalance, breakups. There's only a couple of things that this could be. A, a, Detachment. This could be you and them, you you and this person, you detached from them. But because you detach from them, they working hard, they're trying to to get themselves on a solid foundation. Uh, uh, they need they're gonna need help. They're gonna they want help. Okay, but they haven't contacted you yet. I, I mean I can see that. They haven't they haven't sent the text, made the call, whatever the case is. Perhaps they can't because you blocked them. Who knows? Who knows? Perhaps they're going to stay blocked. Perhaps you don't care for what they did to you. I mean, it was it's, it's, it's not an unreasonable thing that they didn't care so now you don't care. You know? It's one of those things. But you see the Ace of Pentacles, that's what that is. That's it, from you to them and uh, they want they want blessings. They want that. They want they want you you to help them or whoever. They need help. The two of cups is is. I'm gonna tell you this. With the two of cups in reverse, don't trust them. Do not trust them ever again. Ever again. And I'm not telling you, the Holy Spirit's telling you, don't trust them. You got the tower in reverse right next to them. Right next to the Two of Cups. And they are going through a tumultuous time. They may not say it, they may not show it, but they are. And you got the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is, is they... They are uh, uh, just, hmm. They're trying to figure things out because of the tower. Okay, the tower, they, they don't have the tower. The tower has came. And they're trying to figure things out. They're putting pencil to paper. They're trying to figure it out. One, I'm going to tell you this, they're trying to figure out is if they did approach you, how would you respond? How would you handle it? How would you react? You know, and it's 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 a good it's a good. Uh, I would be wondering the same thing if I did that. What they did, I would be wondering exactly the same. You know, like, you know, uh, will I get cussed out or will I? And in most cases, no. Soul tribe, spiritual wars are not going to cuss you out. In a lot of cases, they won't even say nothing. They won't even talk to you. Not, you know, blocked, called not accepted. Spammed. Yeah. Hmm. The Queen of Pentacles again. This is like unbelievable. All the Pentacles. Oh. Oh, I want to turn some more cards. Another pinnacle. Make me think they ain't up a pinnacles in this deck. <laughs> On the bottom pinnacle. <laughs> God bless it. Lord have mercy. Four of pentacles. This person's 
stingy. Stingy. They like they are eight of wands. Hmm. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This person is concerned, they are worried. Again, missed opportunity. Eight of Wands in reverse is, is missed opportunity. They are worried that they, they missed opportunity with you and they afraid the Queen of of Pentacles in reverse is she's a jealous bitch, huh? She is like she's jealous, and that's it's a jealousy card right there in this in this spread. They are overly because and then the, the, the four of pentacles lands right next to it, and that is a control freak. That is like a control fruitcake. That's what that is. This te is telling me that this queen is a nut. They they are so jealous. They are consumed with what you're doing, who you with, who you're talking to, all of those things. They watching you. They are watching you. Mm hmm. They don't want you to be happy. They don't want you to be happy. That's what this card is. Ten of Cups. That is like happy. They don't want you to be happy. Mm -mm. No, they're trying to delay. They wanted to delay. They wanted to. They wanted to. Whatever progress you was making, if let's say you, if you glowed up, if you, I don't know what's the word. If you pinnacled up, if you were uh, pinnacling up, they was trying to slow you down. They didn't want none of this to happen for you. No, and you see, I don't. I don't get that. I'm just. I'm. Again, another pinnacle. Ten of Pentacles. They don't want you to be happy in the upright. Ten of Pentacles, and they don't want you like very well off. They don't want you in the Ten of Pentacle energy. Because if one. None of this matters. You're going to be happy regardless. You know, that's that's what a spiritual warrior, a soul tribe, that's what you are. You're just happy. You know, you're not, you're not the type of person to allow anybody to take away that. That's, that you give them control when you do that and you don't do that. Ooh, way too many. Ooh, ooh change. Change. The death card in the upright. Death card. Oh, the fool. The fool in the upright. Actually, it was it was on the fence, but and it like landed on top of the eight of wands. Oh, that it landed right here on top of the eight of wands. Right next to the Ten of Cups. That's exactly what it is. Yes. You have changed. You have. You take. You went on different. You like. They left the path. The righteous path that they were set on. Whoever this is. And. You continuing down that path. But it's going to be with someone else. It's not with them. It, and it won't be with them. And you're in the Ten of Cups. Happy, so you're unbelievably happy. you Ten of Cups, uh, uh, Ten of Pentacles. You have got more Pentacles than when you were involved in this connection. You got a lot more Pentacles now, for whatever the reason is, who knows. 
and there's a change and that change is you you I think we're gonna pull some more cards but yes ace of cups in the upright yes love See? ace of cups love that's what that change is and that's See, it, it switched right here at the, the Eight of Wands. It started talking about you. They wanted to slow you down. They wanted to, they wanted to slow you down, delay you some kind of way, possibly even stop you if they could. But they couldn't. Nothing is going to stop you. And you, you, once you got out of your uh, Three of Hearts, once you got out of that three of hearts energy, broken hearted, you went into ten of cups. Became happy. You began focusing again on what God meant for you to do. You realized that, well, damn, I'm in the ten of pentacles now. I'm, I'm getting way more money than I had, way more pentacles than I had before. Because you didn't have this person to help anymore. You you could you do what you want. You had more, way more pentacles. And there was a change involved, and that's what the fool indicates that that change you going towards something else, and Ace of Cups is new love. Oops. Snooze, you lose. The Emperor, that's you, that's you, boo. Hey, the Emperor, this is non, non gender. It's, it's a, uh, it could be a, a feminine, could be a masculine. Mm hmm This is like top dog right here. Top dog. Mm-hmm. Mm. Ace of Swords. Yes. Ace of Swords is is you have gained mental clarity. You you have understanding, wisdom. You know what's going on. They can't bullshit you. Not no more. They could, maybe. They thought they could. Actually, I don't even think they could before. You just kind of let them cross boundaries a little bit. And you be like, draw them back in. And you say, listen, you know, you don't need to cross that boundary. Come on back over here. And, <clears throat> yes, Ace of Swords. That's why they don't want to call. That's why they don't want to talk to you right now. Because of the Ace of Swords. And Swords is words. And they going to have a, an ass full of words. When, I mean, they had an ass full. When, when, whenever they decided to speak, they told you how they felt. Simple as that. What? You don't want to hurt nobody, but you damn sure going to show them how the rubber meets the road. Or they could just stay the hell away from you, and that'd be the best thing to do, too. <laughs> the chariot. Yes, in reverse. The chariot in reverse. They st mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah. Chariot in reverse. You are a extremely disciplined person. You are a disciplined person. You do not. You, you are disciplined. You are... Mm-hmm. I don't know. This may be changing. Hold up a minute. Let me look at this. Let's, let's pull a couple more cards. Yes. Yes, this is changing. Yes. Hmm. This is the Hierophant. Yes, this is changing. It's going back to the chariot. It started with the chariot. Yeah, this this chariot in reverse is is them. They very very careless. They they lack direction. 
and, and expressed by the hierophant in reverse, they they don't they're a hypocrite. I hate to put it that way. Ooh, I know that's hurtful, but they but you, they hypocrite because they they say one thing and do another. They believe one thing and do another, or they say they believe one thing and they do another. You know, they go to confession, and then when they're done, they come out, they do the same shit or worse than they did that they confessed for. Figure that shit out. Anyway, yeah, they go totally against the the relig religious establishment that they believe. That's what they. That's how they are. But they want everybody to think that they are a. Like, well, if it's a Christian, that they get like a souped up Christian. Or if you a Muslim, you are very, very hardcore Muslim, and they're not. Whatever the case is, whatever belief it is. And they got their ass loaded up right now. Ten of wands. Ten of wands. They loaded to the gills. They can't take too much more. Hold on, my cards are. Hold on, hold on. The hangman and the upright. I think they're realizing that. They have to let everything go when it comes to soul trial. That it's it's a done deal. It's over. It's it's a it's a let's say yeah. Seven of Swords is a betrayal card. It's a dishonest card. It's a card that. It's a card that, it's a deceitful card. Look, see how he's got them swords in his hand? He got five swords and he got two right there. And he's, and he's looking back. He's trying to get away with them swords. He's trying to steal them swords. And he's looking to see if anybody caught, they caught him doing that. Caught them, whoever it is. Them. Bottom of the deck. Mm. This person needs help. Six of Pentacles. This this reading is full of pentacles. This person needs some help. Big time. I mean really bad. They are scared to death to call. They do not want to call you. They don't know what's, what you're going to say. Shelly. This question is. Shelly Whit, Whitbeck 7403. She got two questions. As a spiritual warrior who listens to readings, I pick up in all I pick up all energies involved. How do I only pick up my own in a reading? Well, that is... When it comes to readings, you have to figure out what resonates and what doesn't. Not The whole reading may not resonate with you, but there's parts of it that will. It's kind of like going to Walmart and buying something. You're not going to buy the whole store. You're just going to go in there and select what you want. Basically. And, and I'm, I'm simplifying it for you, Shelly. But w when it comes to that, you, you and sometimes the entire reading will resonate with you. You're going to be like, damn, that's my reading. And then other times, it's not because there's going to be certain factors and, and other things involved. Characters, uh, you know, uh, uh, and I'm going to just say, for instance, for instance, if there was a, a same-sex issue in the reading, Possibly that wouldn't resonate with you. So you would just leave that and you wouldn't take that. 
I hope I answered your question on that, boo, uh, Shelly. And her next question is, will a spiritual warrior become a wolf in sheep's clothing at times to help the greater good? Yes. Yes. Our warriors will, not saying, uh, and I, I'm, I'm not sure if you mean wolf in sheep's clothing, do things wrong. No, they won't. But they will put on uh, a sheep's clothing and go into the enemy camp. That they'll do. That they'll do. Let's say, let's say you have a soulmate or a a twin, a because there's, there's a lot of twin in this reading, and you you will put on sheep's clothing to go into a den of demons, which would be a club that they in, whatever the case is, whatever they at that they are are being tempted by whatever means available, drinking, whatever the whatever the case is. You would go into that situation for that twin, for the greater good, for that twin. Possibly either to save them or whatever the case is. So yes, the answer to that question is absolutely yes. You would do what you have to do, especially if it's directed by, by God or high authority that you you get a download from. Let's see. What's up? Kelly Haas. Do you ever go. Do you go to Barclay Lock? Yes. I have been through Barclay Locks. Oh, that mercy. Many, many times. I have been on the Cumberland all the way up to Old Hickory Locks. Beyond Old Hickory, there is a power plant up there, TVA. I think it's called Gatlin TVA, if I remember correctly. And I have been up there. So yes, I have been on Barclay Lake, uh, on the on the Tennessee River. Yes, many places I have been. What oracle deck, same person, Kelly? What oracle deck do you prefer? I don't really have like a a favorite oracle deck. I. It depends on the reading, and it depends. Every reader's gonna tell you. It depends on what they call to read. I might, you know, uh, might not be. Whatever. Let's say I have the eye care. I didn't use it. Okay, I didn't use the eye care. I had thought about it, but I decided to use the message of the oracle instead because I felt called to use that deck. And. It's just, and I really like I care for the Kipper. I really like it a lot. But I like all of them. I'm be honest with you, I like all my decks. I got a lot of decks. I don't have, a, I, I, I got a few of them with me on the boat, but I don't I have a bunch at my house. And I got some more coming in. I ordered like five more decks. So I got some more coming in. Uh, hmm, do you get that come from Kelly? Do you get food from, do you get your boat, I'm assuming boat groceries, from Metropolis, Illinois? No. No, we normally, we, we get either like Paducah, we get them in Paducah, Cairo. Uh, in Paducah we use, most of the time, James Marine or something like that. And I'm going to be honest with you, we... we if I have a choice, or we have a choice, we normally go down to, when we get to Memphis, we get our groceries in Memphis, because that's our hub. But uh, I do know, I've been under Metropolis Bridge a bunch of times. Hey, my God, so many times, it's unbelievable. Timmy John, TJ, Timmy John. <laughs> this is the question that I was telling you about. At the beginning of the reading. Sometimes you have to. Kind of. You have to. Uh, let me start this off TJ with this. I'm not a relationship therapist. I'm not a relationship counselor. 
I am none of those things dealing with a relationship. So you may need to seek advice or help from someone else. Okay, My opinion, I'll give it. Absolutely. Everybody got an opinion, I'll give you mine. Mine comes from experience. That being said, Timmy John says, Captain Reed, I'm beginning to have issues in my relationship. How do I explain my concerns effectively to get them to reverse course? My children are all grown. I'm glad you put that in there, TJ. Because that would have been my first, my first response would have been children. My default is always the children. It's always the, the most important part of a relationship, if you have one. I'm going to tell you from experience, red flags. Red flags and boundaries. You're going to have, for every boundary you set, you have to make sure that you have a red flag on there so that when they cross or when they go to cross, that red flag goes up so they know, not you, so they know that they're getting close to that boundary. And if they cross it, you have to have some consequences and you have to stand on those consequences you cannot be flexible you cannot if you're flexible they'll test you every time every, and it, it seems like you've been in this relationship or if this is your wife you've had her for a long time if your children are grown if you've been divorced and you got a new wife you're still, your children are still grown so you're dealing with something that you have to you have to set boundaries and you have to stick to them. Do not become flexible. If you become flexible, and I'm not telling you that the first time they cross a boundary in the, in the relationship, you give them some chances. You have to. You have to. You have to give them chances. That being said, if you don't set the boundaries and stick to them. Lord knows where it goes, where, when it's going to stop, when's enough is enough. That's the things that, that you have to contend with. Yeah. When I set my boundaries, I, they stuck. I mean, I'm, once I have an ass full, I'm done. And if I, if I give you a, if I give a, a warning, and I have, and I've given chances. But once you once you use those chances up and you continue, and I express concerns, and you just disregard the, my concerns or you act like you don't care, and I get in my Queen of Swords mode, you can bet your ass that's, that's uh, not an energy you want me in because I am, I will detach and I will not give a shit. I will watch your ass starve. And that's just the, the Queen of Swords energy. You want to you wanna play the game? We can play the game. Yeah, we're going to both lose. But I'm going to be losing standing up and eating well. So, you know, it is what it is. When you love somebody, you want them to. You don't want to lose them. You don't. You love them. And you commit to somebody. You commit. You stick. It's them that broke the commitment. And they don't understand that. After the fact, they want to play the victim and blame it all on you. And that's fine too. Let them shit. Who cares? You know what happened and they know what happened. So anyway. Timmy John. Timmy John. Not Jimmy. Timmy John. <laughs> anyway. I hope I answered your questions. And I'm going to be honest with you. If... If this is a solid, if you can salvage your relationship, go to a counselor. Go to somebody. Go to a spiritual counselor. Go to talk to somebody. And try. Try to work it out. It don't never, it, you'll never lose by doing that. But if you don't, you know, you, you can, you can. And you will. I'm going to be honest with you. When things, things flip, it's, it's, everybody loses. You know, and the monetary part is nothing. You can always make more money. 
but you can't find another person. You can't, you can't, you can't mend the heart that's been broken. You can't do undo the damage that's been done. Is what I'm saying. So, y'all stay close to God. I'm glad I could do a little re. I hope you know it's 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 a uh, something that we can post, and, and I'm, I hope y'all satisfied with it. I'll do another one when we get to Memphis. We're gonna be leaving here, headed back. We got barges to pick up on the way when I get to Memphis I'll be talking to you again and of course I'll still check out my community board I had a dream about my grandmother awesome dream I'm gonna tell you I loved it I cried I was I was so lonesome for my grandmother I cried uh, and uh, oh my god she smelled so good she smelled whew, it was an awesome dream but anyway I know I love dreaming about my, my my grandmother, when she comes, it's always a blessing for me that I get to see her and, and talk to her, you know. And her smile, it's, it's like unbelievable. Anyway, stay close to God. Talk to him. I love y'all. And until uh, we see each other again, peace out.